What's up everybody, Deacon here. And I just wanted to share a quick word with you guys. And that's just that no matter where you are, no matter where you go, always try to have a positive outlook and always try to treat people with respect. No matter how high they are up the chain, whether it comes to working or the corporate world or just blue collar or how low on the chain. And I don't even want to say low, but if you see somebody, whether they're just picking up garbage, they work at a fast food chain, whatever the case may be, you see a homeless person on the street, just try to carry yourself in a certain way with respect, dignity, and be respectful. Even if they're being disrespectful, try to be the bigger person and just, you know, walk away or just say, you know, it ain't even worth the time and just keep it moving. And the reason why I say that is because you never know when you're in a situation where you might be in need and they're able to help you out or somebody that you least expect is able to help you out in a very positive way. For example, I used to work downtown DC and I used to catch a charter bus. And when we would get to the metro station, there are always people outside who are handing out express papers. They're like free papers that you can read that has, you know, basic information of what's going on in the area, international, stuff like that. And it was a guy that used to always hand out the papers and I used to always make sure I speak to him. And plus, since he was a fellow Steelers fan, you know, Steelers Nation got to represent. So I would always speak to him to see how he was doing. It was always a brief conversation, never anything long, but he was, I always spoke to him. But with this one particular day, I rode the charter bus, and since I keep the ticket in my book bag and never in my wallet, I forgot my wallet that day. When I got to the subway station and I got downstairs, I realized I didn't have my wallet. Since I didn't have my wallet, I didn't have my Smart Trip card. So since I didn't have my Smart Trip card, I knew I only needed like two or three dollars to get through. But I tried asking the station manager at the metro station. She said no. At 6:30 in the morning, I'm asking people, you know, excuse me, excuse me, but. Nobody wants to acknowledge me. Nobody wants to say anything. So I'm thinking to myself, man, all this time, I used to give people who needed change, give them dollars, help out strangers. You know, they needed help getting through. If I had it, I gave it to them, and now nobody wants to help me out. So I was about to start having a bitter attitude. But when I went back up at the top of the escalator, lo and behold, the gentleman who was handing out the express papers asked me what was wrong. I said, man, I left my wallet at home, and I don't know how, to get, how I'm gonna get to work. Because I knew once I got to work, my coworkers would loan me a couple of dollars to get back home because they knew I would pay them back the next day. So what he did was he gave me $5 and said, hey man, just pay me back as soon as you get a chance. Hopefully this will help you get to work. And man, I was, I was grateful, got to work. Had a pretty good day. It started out rough, but I had a good day. As soon as I got home, I went to the ATM machine, got some money, had to get gas the next morning, put gas in my car. But when I saw him, instead of giving him a five, I gave him $10. And he said, man, I don't have change. I said, man, you helped me out in a major way the other day. Keep the change. And it was funny because his other buddy who was passing out papers said to him, hey, man, if you ever need to borrow money, come see me next time. But it reminded me and it let me know, one, all people aren't bad. Two, all people won't ignore you. And three, because I was always respectful and spoke to this man no matter what, and I never looked at him as just the guy who hands out the express papers. In a time of need that I needed something, he was there and he was able to give me something to help me get to work that day. But I'm thankful for that, so that's why I say just always try to be positive to people, always try to be respectful to people no matter what they do, whether they're the bus driver, fast food, whatever the case may be. And you never know, because sometimes when you're nice to people, Sometimes they're nice in return, and even when they're not nice in return, you never know. You might be the person to help make a difference in that day to let them realize, you know what, I've been acting kind of a fool. All customers, or all people aren't bad. There still are some good people out there, and there's still hope for humanity. Hopefully this video has been beneficial to you, and until I see you guys next time, 